Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit's Craft server. It's episode 172 and today we are starting things off in this rather wonderful area right here. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the previous episode of Hermit Craft, this place is pretty exciting because this is the I build your silly Hermit Craft ideas zone. Or as someone down in the comments section suggested, I put it down as an acronym so that would be I B Y s h i or ibishi so this is the ibishi zone which i personally think is a great it's just a great idea for the name of it so yeah we're in the ibishi area and in today's episode we're going to be doing exactly that i'm going to be ibishiing i'm going to be building your silly hermit craft ideas you were down in the comment section letting me know all sorts of different things so i've tried my best to condense them down to a little list so that we can get to work and actually start doing some of them all right, let's do it. Now, one of the most popular suggestions that I got down in the comment section was to build mini versions of previous bases on the Hermitcraft server. So, you know, we've got we've got the floating drone, the flying drone that I made, that was made using sandstone, and that was made for Hermitcraft Season 4. Hermitcraft Season 3, that was the ice spikes. So we've got that one, so I'll have to construct that. And then Hermitcraft Season 2, which was my first Hermitcraft season, it was the jungle biome with the halo and, yeah, all that sort of thing. Uh, so that is gonna be it's gonna be quite tricky I'm, I'm really gonna have to get creative here but it should be quite interesting so I'm thinking we work backwards here I'm gonna start things off with the hermit craft season 4 base and the first thing that I need to do is I'm going to need to construct the power beam that goes underneath it and that is gonna be really difficult to build on a small scale so we I mean I guess we can go like that and then maybe I don't even know how small of a small scale I want to go because this is still going to wind up being quite big if I do it like this. Yeah, that's going to be huge. And I've just thought that that doesn't really leave me with much space to build the base over here. So yeah, okay, let's, let's start again. Right, let's take a look. A power beam is a very difficult thing to construct. But you know what? I would say that's actually, that's not half bad. That is not half bad. If we just chuck this one in because it was missing, so that should stop it from looking quite so lopsided. That's actually, that looks, that looks like the power beam. We've gotten off to a really, really strong start here. Okay, so just on top of that, that is where the drone was flying. So if we can just place in a few scaffolding blocks and start getting that constructed, then it's gonna be pretty obvious that this is actually a small version of my base. Right, I'm just making my way around the outer circle here. So let's just do that. And then that should do it. Now, with my original drone base, so there were two rings, but obviously we're on a small scale here. So we're kind of, we're approximating everything. But I have to say, I mean, first impressions are good. <laughs> that actually doesn't look that bad. Hang on, let me, let me take a look at it from out here. <laughs> that actually looks like the old base. That is a mini version of the drone. That is, that is almost spot on. Now in the middle, in the middle of each one of these, I guess we would have an iron farm. So if I just put that in there, I suppose maybe it would be a, would it be a slab? No, I feel like it would be a block. Yeah, it would be a block. So that goes there. And then we have another one of those over here. I might actually quickly check that these actually look okay because otherwise it could look a little bit stupid. But that is, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the little iron farms out there and then out the back here Oh, that was where my storage system was wasn't it? So I suppose we'll have to put in some chests and things out in that one How did I not notice how off-centered that was? I mean, I'm sure all of you were screaming at me down in the comment section, dude Like seriously, this is a lot of fun <laughs> Just creating like a little model base. This is hilarious. I mean I, I wish I had done this sooner because check that out. So there we have, let's let's run it through. So we've got the drone, we've got all of the iron farms, we've got my storage system, we've got my mob farm, my AFK platform, that compressed ice running up the back there, that's my elevator. And then this is the mob killing platform. This is where all the mobs would die. So I would say that just about covers us in terms of, yeah, in terms of the actual top section. Now I'm just trying to think. So this was here. So this is where the storage system was, which means that the industrial district, oh no. It kind of wraps around like that. 
but it was very thin there, so we might have to make some slight adjustments to scale here. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this looks. I've just run out of glass, so unfortunately I can't actually finish up the industrial district. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's perfect. So we're not going to have things like the slime farm and all of that stuff in there just because, to be honest with you, they're, they're not big parts of my base. I just wanted to get, like, the actual feel of it in there. And that is... That's wicked. That is so cool. I've just crashed into it. Right, let's let's get some more glass and that will actually be that one done. And just so you know, it may not look like much, but these things, I'm spending a lot of time on them because I want them to be perfect. It's kind of like building a small Lego build. You know, you'd spend ages on it. It doesn't look like much in the end, but you know that it's perfect. Right, okay, now that that one's done, it's time to start work on the next one, which is going to be the ice spikes biome. So I'm guessing what I can do is I'll kind of extend out this grass and then we'll build it over here. Now that was actually built in a swamp. So maybe it might be an idea to actually, I guess. See, it's difficult because this base is also quite big. So if we extend this out a little bit and then we'll put the water around there and then the ice spikes can go up like this because the bases were actually pretty similar in height. You know what would have been funny? If I built the I build your silly Hermitcraft ideas area from Hermitcraft season four inside the I build your silly Hermitcraft ideas area in Hermitcraft season five. I mean, it was around about here, but this actually seems like quite a good spot for the ice spikes base. So let's see how this looks then. So we, we're, we're, we're putting in some of the ice spikes here. Okay, uh, I guess that one can go up to three. And then there was always, so the two tall ones were on the outside. So I guess we'll go up like that. And maybe, maybe just a little one, just down at the bottom there. And then, so that's the inside ring. And then we had the sandstone going around the outside. That was like the dipped area. And then you could actually go underneath the base down there. And then we have this area around the outside here which was like the border between the water. So all of this is going to be water. Now let's see, is this giving the impression of the ice spikes base? Oh my God, it's so small. <laughs> I know it's meant to be a mini base. <laughs> That's like a joke. That is literally like a joke base. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, we, we need to rescale this a little bit, make it a tiny bit bigger. <laughs> I mean, it was smaller, it was smaller than this base, but I think just, just to make things look normal, I think it would be, yeah, I think it would be wise to probably keep it at a fairly similar scale, just because... <laughs> That looks ridiculous. All right, that's a tiny bit better. It doesn't look quite as minuscule anymore. I guess the, the ice spikes do need to be a little bit taller. So I suppose I'll probably add maybe a block or two onto each one of these. So this can go up to five blocks and this one maybe up to six blocks and everything like that, just to give it some more vertical height. But there is of course going to be the mob farm and everything like that that's going to be on top of this thing. So that should potentially help. And also actually, didn't we have we have an elevator going up the back as well. Very similar to this one. More details have been added in. So I've started work, I've placed in a storage system down at the bottom, that's in the middle there. We've also got where the items are being transported and we have the killing platform for the mob farm which is going on up at the top. And then out the back we're also getting our little elevator which takes us up to the top so that we can get to the AFK platform exactly like what we had in Hermitcraft Season 3. So from there, I'm going to need to get more iron blocks because at this point in time, those are all the iron blocks I've got. That's all my iron spent right there. I am also very aware of the fact that I, I really need to light this place up because there were tons upon tons of mobs spawning in that thing. Whoa, whoa, what? Serious, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> the iron farm's been kicking out iron golems left, right, and centre. What is going on? Seriously, what is going on? <sighs> okay, fine. Well, that solves our iron block problem. Look! They're, they're falling out right now. Mental. Well, that iron has definitely come in handy because we have now finished up that one as well. So that is Hermitcraft Season 3 done. That's Hermitcraft Season 4. Still need to do the lighting up. Don't worry, I'm working on it. But for now, I think 
The last base I'm going to do is going to be my jungle one. That's going to be back there, but we are going to need to go out and gather up some jungle wood because obviously I don't have any. Jungle wood is horrendously ugly. It's probably one of my least favorite blocks in Minecraft. So yeah, let's head over to the NHO jungle. I'd completely forgotten because I've been using Optifine for years, how ugly rain is in Minecraft. I mean, look at this. Especially when it's compressed in a YouTube video, it just ends up looking like a horrible blue kind of speckly mess. So I do apologize, but for some reason my Optifine isn't working with the new Minecraft launcher. So if anyone can help me out with that, please let me know. Oh gosh, I've just looked at the durability of my Elytra. I got lucky then. Wow. I was flying probably about 200 blocks in the sky. I would have been dead as a daisy. That was close. And I've just realized I, I still haven't repaired them, so I'm probably gonna fall in the ocean on the way back to my base. But anyway, we've got the base of the base in place. So if for anyone who's been watching since Hermitcraft season two, first off, I just wanna say thank you for your continued support. But also we've got kind of like a ring going around like this. And then in the center, I had my storage system and everything like that. So I suppose I'll build up all of the blocks and then we'll see what we can do in the middle. I apologize for my speech. It's so hot. This is by far the hottest it's ever been in my studio by like a long way. Oh, and there it is. Yep, so now I'm going for a little swim. You know what? This has actually ended up working out quite well. Now I am probably going to have to realign some of our little jungle struts down at the bottom here. But if we just take a look at this from the outside, now obviously the scales of the bases is off. Like this base looks like it's the same size as this base, when in reality it was considerably smaller, but otherwise, as we noticed earlier on, it looks completely ridiculous. That's actually quite good. And can you notice a theme? <laughs> <laughs> this is my first base that I built on Hermitcraft that isn't centered around the circle <laughs> and it's centered around a diamond. Look at these things! <laughs> I'm so glad everyone suggested this. This was like one of the most popular suggestions and for good reason because it is it's hilarious seeing them all there. Anyway, I've just grabbed myself a little bit more jungle wood because we need to finish up this central section. Then I need to wrap up all of the grass and then I guess we'll just do a little bit of terraforming. Maybe some, maybe some tree planting, some bone milling, all that good stuff. Straight away, that looks a lot better. This is much, much better now. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. The only thing that I will say is, is the border around the edge. What I'm thinking is, is we grab ourselves some stone slabs and kind of just run them around the outside if I can I mean seriously my, my minecraft skills they seem to have gone out the window today so yeah that will kind of wrap around the outside and that will just give us a hard border so that we can tell where this thing ends because right now it looks a little bit unfinished oh there we go now it looks finished and that that is perfect so there it is. Okay, that took considerably longer than I was expecting, but there are the three mini versions of my previous Hermitcraft bases. We've got the Hermitcraft Season 4 drone, we've got the ice spikes, and then we have my jungle base as well. Perfect, I'm so, so happy with this. Okay, right, next suggestion, I guess. We've got other things that we need to build. The next suggestion is that I should build a large-headed Iskal. Now, when people say this sort of thing, I'm assuming they mean that I should build like, do you remember? In fact, I've already built one. I know exactly where to find the inspiration for this one, and that's at that little showdown area that me and Iskal built. We've got Iskal lying down in diorite, just doing a diorite snow angel or a diorite angel, I guess you could say. That's like, that's perfect. So we'll construct one of those, and I would say that this spot here is quite a good space for it because we can go up like this and then we can go upwards and then he can be standing just behind this base and then we can work out what we're gonna do with this area here. And can I just say it is absolutely horrifying that that contest happened over 100 episodes ago. 110 episodes ago, we had that contest with this girl. What on earth? <laughs> so looking at the build, we need, so we've got blue for his trousers. That's right there. Uh, we need green for his coat and everything. Uh, we've got a little bit of black for his shoes and his belt. We've got all of the white terracotta for all of his skin. And then we just need some brown. Now I'm assuming, yeah, absolutely none of the stuff. But we do have the cocoa bean farm, but with that being said, <laughs> I, mean, I, I haven't looked at the cocoa bean farm for probably about 150 episodes really. So um, yeah, I'm not holding out too much hope that there's actually cocoa beans there. No, doesn't doesn't look like it. Oh, we have totally failed there. Oh, this is this is catastrophic, really. Okay, instead of using brown cocoa beans and and brown concrete powder and everything like that, what we're going to do instead is we're going to use great oaks because 
Oh, someone's... See, I am doing the server a favor by using Great Oaks because some absolute nutcase on the Hermitcraft server has left a floating tree. Honestly, they, they, they should be banned. Whoever it was, just ban them. I have way more diamonds than I should considering the fact that I haven't done a mining session for many, many months now. I don't understand. I, I'm running out of all other resources apart from diamonds. Right, let's take a look here then. So if we just go up like this, so that should be the top of his beard. And then Iskal's beard runs up like that. And then he's got the two drop down areas. And then I guess that will make up the bottom of his face. But for the time being, I just want to see what this thing looks like from back out here. And the answer is pretty cool. I mean, he's kind of hidden away, but that's that's what we want. With this area, I kind of want all the builds to be mashed in with one another. But if we actually take a look at the build itself... <laughs> yeah, he, look, he looks really good. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some diorite in front of him. That's what we're going to do to fill up that area there, is that's going to be a little diorite zone. Okay, anyway, I've run out of green terracotta, so we're going to have to grab some more of that to do the rest of his shirt. But you know what? We're actually kind of nearing completion on this little dude. I mean, it's not necessarily a big build. <laughs> and it just, I love those things. I can't wait to get it finished. This is really difficult though. Like his head is, is impossible. It looks like he's got a really, oh my word. Have you seen how many mobs there are down there? Holy mackerel. This is what happens when all the caves are lit up in the local area. <laughs> you just get crazy mob fests like that. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep. And I mean, I'm really struggling with this one. I don't normally struggle with this sort of thing. Let's just see. I, I just wanna see now. Okay, so this thing is in theory completed. And I would actually say that it is. I would totally say that it is. <laughs> it has his head looks really tall. <laughs> He's got a real long head. I feel like maybe... <laughs> There's something not quite right there. But it kind of works. He does have a tall head though. I feel like his arms... <laughs> I feel like maybe... I don't know. I don't know what it is that's, that's causing him to look like that. Maybe his hair is a little bit too high up. No, that's not it. <laughs> I don't know, but what it is, is really funny. And I'm not going to change it because that's hilarious. He's got the most hilarious face, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like Iskal crashed into a horse. What? We don't have any diorite. That's got to be a joke. We must have some diorite somewhere. Obviously, I can go out and farm some, but there is... <laughs> How have I used that much diorite? Did I use all of it on, on that massive structure that I made in Iskar's base? <laughs> I might have done that, actually. I think that just about does it. I managed to cobble together like a couple stacks of diorite. We've got that We've got that in front of him here. We've got Iskar standing there, and then we have all of our bases as well. So this, obviously, I'm not going to go through it, but I'm, I'm just, I'm, I am happy with how this has come together. Like, I wasn't expecting this to start off so well. The I built the Ibishi zone, the I build your silly Hermitcraft ideas area, has gotten off to a really, really strong start. I'm, I'm trying my best to keep everything quite packed in. So there's going to be a lot of builds kind of all on top of one another, and there's going to be stuff crammed in so it looks jam-packed, because that was that was kind of the reason why I didn't really like the one that we did on Hermitcraft season four. It's because everything was really spaced out and it just looked it just looked a bit weird. Whereas this one should hopefully just look like a madhouse. That's kind of what I'm going for. I just want it to look like a madhouse inside those fences there. But anyway, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this episode on the Hermitcraft server. If you did, please show us that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.